So I have just made a short video on uh, whether fat grafting appears to increase the risk of uh, breast cancer, of developing breast cancer. And the short answer is the best evidence we have to date, this is 2018, the best evidence is that it appears not to do so and that breast fat grafting is a safe procedure. However, why did anyone ever think that it might cause breast cancer? Well, it may be a surprise to learn that uh, fat is not this inert material that is just a nuisance for many of us. Um, it's very rich in stem cells. It is actually the second richest source of stem cells in the body after bone marrow. And stem cells has amazing regenerative abilities, and one of its abilities is to encourage cell growth. And it occurs to people that breasts commonly develop breast cancer. One in eight in the Western world is the, is the rate of breast cancer amongst women. So the concern was that by um, filling an area which is at high tumorigenic risk with a substance that enhances cell growth, you may be enhancing the growth of tumor cells and actually causing uh, a problem. The body is actually able by its immune system to mop up cancers that we probably develop quite often um, when they're at the level of just a few cells. But if you were to introduce something that uh, made it grow more rapidly before the immune system had had a chance to do that, then perhaps you might be causing a problem. And so surgeons generally are a very prudent bunch and decided that they were going to hold fire until they knew for certain that this was a safe thing to do, a safe treatment. I produced a book a few years ago called Evidence-Based Cosmetic Surgery. Check it out on Amazon. It's great. Evidence-Based Cosmetic Surgery. And I deliberately didn't include fat grafting of the, pre the breasts in that book. Please do go ahead. I didn't include fat grafting of the breasts because um, I wasn't assured of its safety. That was now about six years ago that I wrote that. Um, in fact, after these meta-analyses, I am very much more convinced and it's a treatment I happily offer. And if you do stop to pause and think about it, it never made total sense that um, fat might be a tumor enhancer, not to me anyway. Um, we don't see any relationship between the rates of tumor development in obese people versus very skinny people. We don't see a variation in tumor development in areas of the body uh, that are more likely to have larger fat deposits than others. So the only remaining concern could be whether the fat transfer process itself might change the nature of the fat in some way. But it is just a graft. They, the fat grafted cells live or they die, to my mind. So um, I'm, I'm glad that this has been borne out in the evidence. It's a treatment we do offer. If it's one that you'd like to consider, then um, as far as I'm concerned, it's one that is safe.